Hola everyone and welcome to Play It Like Dimebag. So here we are with lesson number two of Cemetery Gate Solo. So I guess let's just start. It is a straightforward blue C lick starting with a downstroke and a whole note bend up on the G 16th and then downstroke on the B 14th and upstroke on E 14th and then downstroke on B 17th and pull off to the B 14th. Repeat this one three times, so four times all together. And then downstroke and a whole note bend up on B 17th, which is followed with an upstroke on E 14th. And repeat this one twice and then end it on the B 17th with the same whole note bend up and some heavy vibrato. The two together. And now E21 with a downstroke and pull off to the E 14th, then downstroke the same note. And then repeat the same, but now starting with an upstroke. So. And then a third time with an upstroke, the 21, and then pull off straight to the 14th. And that's all. So far. And then the next sequence, twice on the E 20th with a downstroke and an upstroke, which is followed by a pull off to the E 14th. And then repeat. And then once the 20th with a downstroke and then pull off to the 14th. So together. And the two together. This is the easy part so far. And then bar 20 starts with a typical time back pinky slide and pull off flick. With the down stroke you pick the E 19th and slide up to the E 20th. And then pull off to the 17th then to the 14th and with the down stroke it's a B 19th followed by an upstroke on the E 14th and repeat a very similar one starting with the down stroke on the E 19th slide up to the 20th but also slide back to the 19th before you pull off to the, uh, the 17th and then the 14th and the 19th on the B and then back to the 14th on the E and then finish it on the B 19th Try to be very cautious with these kind of wide stretches because you can easily hurt yourself if you over practice them. After the fourth beat, it starts on an upbeat in bar 20 with a downstroke on B 17th, upstroke on E 14th, and then downstroke on E 16th. And which is followed in bar 21 by a hammer on to E 17th and then pull off back to E 16th and 14th. So together. And again, since we're trying to dissect this lick, it's better if you practice this first little piece by finishing it on the first note of the next part, which is the B 17th with a downstroke. So together. So after the downstroke on B 17th, it's an upstroke on E 14th, downstroke on E 17th with the ring finger, and then slide up to the E 19th. So together. And make this one a little longer. I put a dotted 16th triplet there, but it's more of a feel thing. And then pull off back to the 17th with your middle finger and down to the E 14th with the index finger and then downstroke on the B 19th and upstroke on E 14th. So this part. The 
two together. Then downstroke on the E 17th, up on the E 14th, down again on 17th, and then pull off to the 14th. I usually do this with the middle finger because now we're going up to the 19th on the B with a downstroke and then back to the E 14th with the downstroke and again finish it on the first note of the next part which is the B 17th. So together So after the downstroke on B 17th, pull off back and forth from the 14th to the 17th, twice, and then downstroke on the G 17th, up on the B 14th, and then hammer on to the 15th, pull off to the 14th, repeat, and then G 17th, again the first note of the next part. And then the weight continues after the downstroke on the G 17th, pull off to the 16th, 14th, hammer on back to the 16th, pull off to the 14th, and then downstroke on D 16th, and then up on G 14th, and finish it on D 16th with a downstroke. If you get all these parts down, then it is much easier to put them together and start playing it faster. So slow the whole thing. before this last chromatically descending whammy bar abusing part. Pick the D 14th with the downstroke and hammer on to the 16th on an upbeat in bar 22. Simple, but it's just there. And then it is an old legato lick with one downstroke on the G 14th. Only the first one is picked and everything else is a different technique. So G 14th then hammer on up a whole note and then pull off back to the 14th. It's always one note higher, which is two frets, and hammer on and a pull off. After this one, you have to slide down half a note. That's where it starts descending. So now we're on the 13th position. And after the slide down, you have to push the bar down a little bit instead of picking and then hammer on and pull off and then just go down up until you reach the third fret and then live it usually ended on the second fret on the G string with a pinched harmonic and a dive bomb but in the studio version I believe it was uh, on the fifth fret with an extra layer that was added afterwards. That works as well. And that's about it. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed these lessons. And if you like what you hear and see, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Check out my Patreon site, if you will. I got all the backing tracks and tips for all these lessons. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.